Are you struggling to make eye contact on your Zoom calls? I've got some tips for you on how you can connect with your audience, even though you're looking into a lens, because you're gonna look into your lens. If you've ever felt awkward making eye contact on Zoom, you're not alone. It's tough when you're talking to a camera lens instead of a person, but making that connection is really important to keeping your audience engaged. So I'm gonna share some tips with you that will help you keep your eye contact natural and make your virtual meetings more personal. Tip number one, look at the camera not the screen okay we can tell when you're not looking at the camera i know that it's tempting to watch yourself or your colleagues on the screen but to really connect you've got to look at the camera and it feels weird at first but trust me it makes a big big difference your audience will feel like you're looking at them right in the eyes as an audience member how do you feel when somebody's looking straight at you or if they're looking away you can tell when somebody's looking at the screen or when they're looking at the camera tip number two is to place your notes strategically you need notes no problem I use notes all the time. Just don't put them so far away from the camera. I like to put my notes as close to the camera as I possibly can. I personally have my camera set up and I have my monitor right next to it. I will put my notes as close to the camera as possible. If you don't have the monitor, write them on a sticky note and put it as close to the camera as you can. And that way, when you glance at your notes, it still looks like you're maintaining eye contact. Sneaky. Tip number three is to practice the eye flicker technique. Okay, here's a trick. If looking directly at the camera feels intense, try the eye flicker. Instead of staring at the camera nonstop, glance away briefly like you would in a normal conversation. It keeps things feeling natural and prevents you from feeling like a robot. Because I could be delivering it straight to you like this, or I could be delivering it straight like this and then take a look at my notes, look back at you. Now here's my pro tip for you. Use a teleprompter for eye contact. I started using a teleprompter where I can bring the faces right in front of the camera. It's like I'm looking directly at the person because I actually am looking directly at the person, but the camera's right behind it. It's really like the ultimate hack. Let me know, have you ever used a teleprompter or thought about trying to use one for your Zoom calls? Because it really, it really changes everything. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Why didn't you tell me? They did tell me, I just didn't do it, but now I do it. Now, if you're using Ecamm for your Zoom calls, that is perfect because then you can adjust your settings to make sure you're framed properly. You can have a good eye level. You can make sure your face is well lit and it's easier to keep that connection going when you know everything looks great. Plus you can design your Zoom presentations with your camera in it. So you are still keeping eye contact with the audience, even though you got slides up. Fancy. If you're still not feeling natural on camera, one thing you can do is record your video chats with your friends or loved ones because they're the ones that you're gonna feel all comfortable with and you're just going to be acting like you. Watch those screen recordings back and see how that person acts versus the person that is on your Zoom presentations and then find a happy medium. Mastering eye contact for Zoom will help you feel more connected and confident and your audience is gonna feel it too. Don't let the virtual barrier get in the way. It always helps me just to acknowledge that there are actual people on the other side. And if you're on a Zoom call, maybe you actually know who's the person on the other side. So just talk to them, just talk to them, just talk to them. Engage, connect, and of course, if you want to know more about Ecamm for Zoom, let us know. We can help you out. You got this.